There's a backpack in Hard Targets? Um, it's like, it's basically the ghost, uh, not ghost punk, uh, cyberpunk equivalent of a handy haversack or a magic bag of holding or whatever. No, no it's shit. Basically, it's totally a bag that just like will, it can like fluctuate and it can totally like pop out that thing that you want if it's on wireless that, and you can just <laughs> grab it as a free action. Do you have any idea what it's called? I'm looking at what? the uh, PDF now. I think it's like Myanmar something. Oh god, that's not helpful. I'll I'll look it up. My uh Mark. Is it hard targets you say? Yeah, hard targets. Yeah, it's definitely said. hard targets. It's freaking silly. <laughs> I mean it's good that they finally included some kind of backpack so we don't have to just house rule it or, you know, custom item it. I don't know. I liked when Sigma brought a hockey bag into Ecuador. It made life so much easier. <laughs> I love Sigma. I love Sigma too. I I've got a retirement plan for him. I hope one day he makes it. We all know he's not making he's it. He's not making it. It's reactive myomer <laughs> pack. I am going to extract him, by God. I am a company that wants him. Yeah, he's not going to make it to the end of the meta for Wu Jing to extract him. <laughs> oh, no, it's not Wu Jing. Someone else is totally going to extract him or totally wants him. Actually, I don't even think they're going to extract him. They're just going to make him an offer. <laughs> it's the player's fault a little bit. I was on a run with him once, and we totally just because we, it, we, it was Sigma. We had to do it. We totally convinced him. That there were, um, there were like gang. It was a ganger thing we were hitting in the safe house, and there were these gangers across the street. We had no clue if they were associated or not. Ends up afterwards, we were told they weren't, but they were just across the street, just sitting there. So we're like, "Hey, Sigma, you know what you should do? You should ride on your little unicorn bike because this is right after you got turned into a unicorn. You should <laughs> shoot at them and then drive away and make them chase you." Oh, that was that run. Oh, yeah. That, that sounds good. He, he didn't even put up a fight. Like He embraced it so quickly that we weren't able to talk him out of it if we wanted to. Is this going to attract a lot of attention? I'm in. <laughs> I, got it. I specifically put him on my first Wuxing run so that he could um, get like attention. Because it was a, it was a uh, celebrity party, right? So yeah, he just walked in the place like a baller and attacked a penguin. Which was really just him hallucinating on Zen. <laughs> it was Arm Candy that was hanging out with him. Well, wow, that pack is crazy. I want to see a picture of that. I don't understand how it can load and unload items. You know, the future. That's how. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think technically your uh, your doc or your uh, med kit can do that too. Like, well, yeah, that's that's yeah. true. That's true. Your med kit just starts popping out and doing surgery on you. I don't know. It doesn't make so sense. So I don't know what my amorphilibans are, but I've worked with similar things at school. Uh, called smart materials. Basically, they just move on their own. Like if you send like a current through them, like mm -hmm. something called a PZT or uh, 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 what's an EAP stand for again? Electively activated polymer, I think. If you just send electricity through it, it'll just shift and like contract based on the electric signal. So it'll like move on its own without having to be like having articulation in it. So basically, that's what it sounds like to me. It's just like a pack that can like contract itself and such, such that it like squeezes your stuff out of it. Yeah. That brings up two questions then. Uh, first is what's its firewall rating, and the second is can it be hacked? <laughs> right. If it's got wireless, it can be hacked. It's, it's got it wireless. Always, it would I'm always be... said the auto-injectors, the, the drugs that most people keep in their crashed auto-injectors do not have um, like a downside, right? Because any drug you take should have a downside if you're taking it when you don't need it. I always just want people to hack every hub player's auto injector and just fill them full of trucks. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, to answer your firewall question, it would be the firewall of your comm link, unless you're just not slaving that to your comm link for some reason. Well, how are you wirelessly connected to it if you're not? Right. Data check. Uh, you still need an interface to interact with, I believe. I think the data check just allows you to do it through AR. Did I just make that up? Don't know, but I also know that the um, rigger control, uh, the control rig you get, the RCC. has data, uh, the DNI in it. No, not the uh, the RCC, the actual control rig. Mm. Yeah, that's a good point. And at this one point, I want to make sure that I'm running on my uh, fake sin. Speaking of my control rig. Mm -hmm. 
Ah, uh, at some point later in the week, Macbeth will. Off. Well, I'll, I'll wait till everybody's back. Well, I only have two, so. Um... <laughs> no, not not sin related. That just happened to remind me. I, I always forget to offer to let people slave devices to me. I don't. It doesn't sound like it'll come up here, but uh, you never know. Yeah. It's also a low oh. threat. Nah, I probably wouldn't assume competence to that, even on low. I wouldn't allow you to, because early on, no. my character specifically didn't offer. If, if somebody asked him, he does. But early on, I suffered from combat paralysis, and I wouldn't put my neck on the line for other people unless they pressured me into it. Yeah, it makes sense. I don't think that wouldn't even be something I would consider even no matter what, thinking about it. Yeah, it's a little bit... It's kind of like a DNI. Like DNIs, you can almost assume confidence because it's kind of just one of those things runners do. But slaving devices, I think, should be up to the decker. You say that, but every run I've ever done, like I'm not, I actually wasn't paying attention for this one. Maybe you guys didn't, but someone always go like, you know, the slashy, so it's different colors. Like DNI request. Mm-hmm. Usually, yeah. Mm-hmm. I was on one run with uh, Cat, uh, Cat Nine, <laughs> who offered it, and like three people turned him down. <laughs> that's not weird actually. <laughs> that, I mean if you know Cat9 that's <laughs> depending on yeah. what character he's on that's not a bad idea um, was it Katie Kaboom? no uh, this was before Katie keeping in mind how long it's been since I've actually played yeah I, I think I knew he, I know specifically how you used to have a character that was essentially a trap card <laughs> so I'm trying to think what is the I don't think he does uh, DNIs anymore I think uh I think Katie. Oh no, I guess Katie does. I don't know. I, th I thought it, I thought it was him talking. It must have been somebody else. Somebody else was talking that they don't do DNIs because they feel like they're cheating. Oh uh, well, I don't. But that's because of my Simpsons Vertigo. Well, that's just unreason. Yeah, you still do them. You just don't look at them when you're in critical situations, or you just make me fucking read you all your text. Yep, that's what I make you do. Read all the text. That's good when our uh, <laughs> you were getting leadership from uh, whoever the hell that was. Was it Method? Oh, Citizen? No, yeah. Citizen, yeah. Citizen was sending DNI, super inspiring leadership DNIs, and Rosen's not getting the bonus because she doesn't doesn't read DNI during battle. So, real quick, uh, let's just go through roll because I think it's time to about to start again. So, Macbeth, I think I heard you. Yes. And I've heard RC, I've heard Don, Steak. Yep, I'm here. And Tropic. Hello. Steak, you are our mage, yeah? I am our mage. You have any other suggestions or tips well, that we've left out? I was going to ask, um, so accidents, does that have to be targeted at the driver, or can I target a vehicle? You want to make them P2? <laughs> like I said, man, go for the bladder. Is that what you mean by accidents? That is not what I meant by accident, but no. that is actually potentially an outcome from accident, dependent could on you, the GM. Could you make the car pee? <laughs> I mean, I think for accident, I'm looking up the specifics of the text right now, but I totally like have him... I could totally see a driver if you scored high enough uh, accidentally turning off grid guide and then causing an accident. Yeah, like an overwhelming sense of anxiousness that he feels like he's late and has to manually make up time by doing something reckless. But I, I have to hit the driver. You would have to hit... I, I, I'm going to look it up real quick. Is it not in core? It's in... Uh, yeah, it's in core. It's page 394. Accidents. I don't know that one off the top of my head. These are the mages we have to deal with. <laughs> I was it wasn't going to be an accident, darling. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's why I can't find it. I'm in, I'm like, wait, there's no three ninety four? I'm in a freaking hard target. I'll so. do it. <laughs> what do you mean the book doesn't have enough pages? <laughs> yeah. All that fluff. So three ninety four is a critter power. Yes, so it would be from a spirit. Right, okay, that makes sense. Hold on, so let me just read through this. Uh, why don't you guys plan some other stuff while you're doing that? You're all back, I think. I, yes, yeah, so you can just continue, continue flacking. Blah. Tongue tied. You can continue planning while I look at this. I think at this point we've got the road planned down. How are we going to take care of the people? 
So I, I can potentially make the cars crash. Okay. We'll keep that one as a backup. I think that that should not be first. Uh, first off. It'd be better to not have that be first. Yeah, real quick, uh, just to, before I get too far away from it, it definitely uh, references that you're targeting someone, uh, so it would not be the car that you would target in this right. case. But you could definitely target the driver, and he could totally... I could roleplay that out easily, how he would make an accident, even though he's on grid guide. So, keep that in mind. Okay. So, the, the main thing we need to figure out for a lot of this to work is getting uh, vision on that driver. Is that vision once, or is that you need vision at the time that you're going to make them pee? It's line of vision, sight. Vision at the time. Okay. So, the Lucy Goose thing we can do is, like, find out where they are in the path and just drive on the opposite side of the road. Just, like, just cross paths with them. The reflective uh, windshield nips oh, that in the butt. All right. I Our would luck. have to... I would have to... Power down the warp. <laughs> I would have to control the window and, and roll the window down to give you that split second opening to interact with the guy. Um, that's obviously going to instantly clue them in. That's uh, something. Uh, yeah. Um, if we could have something hit the windshield that they then have to um, clean off, that it's uh, just so sticky that the wipers don't clean it off. Oh my god, Don turned hey. into a hot chick. Uh, absolutely, what? darling. I could do that, but you're going to have to roll your quest then. Uh, turn somebody into a hot chick who's not me, and then make them break a vehicle down. You guys see where I'm going with this? Okay, who's still I... standing next to me? I'm going to cast it on them right now. Well, not right now. No. <laughs> oh. Oh, God, not now. Sorry, that was out of the character. I was going to just do it, but no. <laughs> do it. Fuck it. Turn somebody into a hot chick. I'd make you all roll edge to see who's next to her, by the way, in case that happens oh. later. You know, it's not hard to make an engine look like it's having distress. Yeah, well, that's what I was thinking. I can, I can toss some stuff on that. Uh, oh, just just make their engine break down. Well, any car, you know, if we're going to go with the hot chick on the side of the road. I don't know that it's a great idea, but that was just the idea that came to my mind. <laughs> well, one of the topics of ideas you were trying to locate the driver somehow. I think there was talk of like a me page thing. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, that's just my flop. I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a, a threshold three matrix search to yeah, basically browse me feeds until I can uh, find out who these people are. Uh, matrix search. I've got browse loading we're loaded, which runs half the time. And threshold three. Um, and with three net hits. You're wait. Who's a woman? <laughs> <laughs> Don steak. Sorry, steak. Steak is a woman. You're, You're a very Sorry, lovely I'm troll woman. Not quite sure. I turn into a pretty woman. <laughs> Don does amazing things. Oh, and like a champ. All right. Yep. You get to be a pretty, pretty woman. <laughs> I only got three hits. It's not perfect, but you know it's close. Yep. Hey, so with the limo. With the uh, with the net hits on the other thing, uh, you don't find you find pages from the angry you know wives and or girlfriend of the two drivers. Um, the two drivers are recently promoted to the crash cart driving, which uh, according to the wives is the best drivers uh, for Evo because they bring the medical supplies places. Um, but unfortunately, a side part of that is apparently their love life has been negative because they go on and work four day shifts straight driving, and then they crash off of long haul, long haul go to sleep. Uh, in fact, you think some of them are currently asleep and are going to wake up just in time that this will be like their fourth sh day on their next shift when you are going to encounter them. Oh my god, yes, that's perfect then. <laughs> They also are saying that some of their co-workers, and they, you know, they put it in whatever the six-world DNI equivalent of parentheses, uh, and they indicate some people who have like military-style haircuts are rather insidious and that they should avoid them. But they have located that since they go out and party every night after jobs, uh, definitely their Thursday night hangout, which if you recall, this is a Friday – 
and so next week will be a Friday, so it'll be the night before the run. Uh, their party spot is a place called uh, McGregory's in Tacoma for the in- unsavory uh, workers who are not the drivers of the trucks that do the four-day shifts. They are some other sort of people that work with them somehow that the wives don't like. Or wife and girlfriend. One one has a wife, one has, doesn't have a wife. Not the drivers, but associated with the drivers. Um, yeah, so not the two drivers that drive the thing, but some other people. Yeah. And they all have military ha- haircuts. Yeah, maybe people that like to be in front of or behind delivery vehicles. Do you have sense? I'm sorry, I, I, didn't have the, I didn't push the right button. You're not getting anything else out of me unless you have common sense. But uh, <laughs> I do not. I have logic. I have a lot of logic. But uh, That doesn't help you. You're going to have to use your own <laughs> man own logic common sense. Uh, to yes. figure that out. Cool. I, uh, I, share, I share the me feeds with, uh, with the team. And it's just stamped horn dogs. Uh, and hot girl plan is a go. Hot spouse plan? These are both male drivers, right, you said? The, the two drivers of the car are males. Okay. They will say, in fact, in one of the me feeds, uh, when they're talking about the unsavory individuals, one of the ones is a female, but that doesn't seem to matter. They still uh, are unsavory towards the wife and girlfriend if they are in the same bar. Sure. Cool. Uh, what do you guys think about that? Um... <clears throat> Sounds like we could slip, uh, slip them all Mickey's on Thursdays. Give at them least, a hangover. Uh, at least a couple of them. Or yeah, yeah, just hangovers. Yeah. Um, potentially. Uh, I've got you them. said that the um, not the drivers, but the ones who ride in the vehicles with them have military crew cut. Yeah. They look, they look military. Oh, I can oh, call up oh. my, uh... Go ahead. I was going to say how fortunate that we have someone who, uh... Who looks very military. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we had someone who could forge fake IDs for him. Well, I know somebody who could, but uh, I don't know if we've got enough time. We have a week. Oh, that's right. Uh... I mean, I have forgery if uh, if that counts for anything. There you go. What do we want to forge? I missed that part. Fake IDs. Ah. Who do you want to be? <laughs> I want to be Superman. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna need to know to first roll knowledge of Fifth World comics or something. Like that. <laughs> there are other characters that have these things. So I, <laughs> I mean, I'm sure even. Superman's been around for a century almost, at least at this point. I'm the way, sure he'll be around in another century. The way it's going for DC in 2015, I might not be so sure if the <laughs> 76 still sings their praises. We still have tales of old, like Gilgamesh and the Odyssey <laughs> and all that, so I, I think Superman can make it. Make it they weren't great in the 90s. I don't even think they were great in the 2000s, so I'm sure they'll still be around somehow. But <laughs> we digress. We get off topic. We're going to get back on topic, and you're going to figure out what to do with that information you have. Uh, I do have a military knowledge I could apply to see if I could track down what kind of unit they were from, but that's not going to help a whole lot more. I'm Here, willing to roll that. We'll see what it goes. <sighs> All right. I don't know if Evo... Evo has a very particular haircut they, uh, they like to use. I'm guessing that's where these guys are from. Because we know that it's Evo personnel in the support vehicles. Yeah. But it, but to confirm it would be great, so we don't have to be shocked later. So that 66 was the roll? Yes. Sorry. Yeah, with that many hits, uh, you totally tell from your military contacts and such, from your old military life, uh, just from a few calls, that... Uh, it seems that Evo is very friendly towards metahumans, uh, and that specifically, they tend to hire ex-military metahumans to be their, kind of like their security guards, and, you know, for like the guys who would be in the support trucks to make sure it doesn't get hit kind of people. Uh, they do hire some humans, but, you know, mostly trolls and orcs and dwarves and the occasional elf. Who, well, not really elves because they they are usually fine anyway. 
but you know, all of your trogs and your dwarves. Pardon, got it. All right. <clears throat> well, I have an idea of where they might go to drink, but um, yeah, on that I'd be clueless. I'd be right there next to them drinking. Oh, we know exactly where they're going to drink. At least on Thursday. There's that party in Tacoma that all the wives are bitching about. Just in case I explained it wrong, it's more, it's not so much wives, it, it, uh, no, sorry, it's not so much a party as it's just their usual Thursday night bar, like hole in the wall place. Yeah, uh, I, I gotcha. Just the, uh, good old bar hang. Yeah. And the uh, corporate culture was for Evo, I'm assuming, uh, Don? It was kind of for the same thing, just to confirm his stuff, so... Yeah, with that you just get more of kind of more of the same about the metahumans. You definitely know that uh, Evo tends to have at least one troll, and they may even have some uh, other metasapient or uh, special type metahuman. <laughs> Evo loves their Sasquatches. Uh, maybe it'll be a Sasquatch. You'll see. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, I really like the idea of tempting these guys with a hot chick. I do too. Um, and I, I can actually tempt them if one of them is a troll. Well, the moment the moment that <laughs> you're so beautiful, though. I just like to point out that other meta types can be attracted to trolls, not just uh, trolls. <laughs> yeah, but that, that's that's a little less common. In fact, in my last run, I had a, an executive of Neonet uh, who had a mistress who was an orc, and he was a human. So, totally oh, scandalous. Love in all shapes and sizes. Shapes? Gross. <laughs> you turn into data hound, Macbeth. Careful. Yeah, that was close. <laughs> I love everything equally. That's my, that's my philosophy. Um, yeah, I mean, if we can get one of them to just stop for a second, even if it's just to roll the window down and ask if she's okay, then that's when you guys can make him piss himself or whatever the fuck you're doing. Um, we do that at the first checkpoint, or the first choke point that uh, RC had found for us. That way, if that fails, we can still hit him with a dump truck at the second checkpoint. Right, and the third checkpoint is um, Plan Z. Yeah, third check or the third choke point is basically just take them at all cost, relocate vehicles, do a warehouse, uh, swap it out into a new vehicle, burn previous vehicles. What plan Z right. was call cat nine. <laughs> <laughs> Not getting paid enough for his uh, or her uh, her budget. That reminds me, does anybody have jammers for the equipment in the back of the truck? Uh, Let's find out. Yes, I believe I do. Uh, I have my cyber deck. Okay. Uh, that'll work for one. Did we confirm that these trucks are, are in convoy? Yes, I think so. I mean, define in convoy. What is that? You mean like they're driving together? Yeah. Yeah, they're driving. It's one shipment. It's driving together. Yes, you know that. Okay. And you know that there's going to be four of them: two trucks, a rear, and a. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. Uh, of course, yes, sir. We have we have two inventory trucks with nice, you know, nice security trucks on the outside, kind of like a medical truck sandwich. Uh, so speaking of that, that would mean. Sam, I'm not sure that the delivery drivers are going to have the opportunity to stop because the, they're going to be surrounded by military spec uh, escorts, right? That's what it sounded like. So maybe we make the lead car break down. Can't you just shut it off, darling? Well, yeah. I, okay. I can do the boring thing, too. All right. So would it be better to take out the the lead vehicle or the tailing vehicle first? I'm open to suggestions. Uh, I feel like the rear vehicle might be best. If you if you want me to do it, it's not going to be quiet. 
if, if I brick something, it it goes loud. I, I could just turn it off too, but nothing's gonna stop that from just turning it back on. I thought we were going loud. Yeah, well, it, it's not lethal. Yeah, we've got somebody who can wiggle fingers and make stuff happen, right? Oh, golf styling. I have the best fingers. A couple of them. Okay. Would you guys be able to team up and maybe separate them physically from the the vehicle or maybe block the vehicle itself? I don't know, you know, make a, a sinkhole open up underneath them or something. How about you just open a rental van and cut off traffic? Well, then I can't drive the, uh... Well, yeah, I could. You can leave it there. <laughs> <laughs> Out of character, I'm asking if anyone has Kayoko, right? Because you can call Kayoko, get a level two send, rent a car, and then use that to block traffic if you'd really like. Well, you know, Bob. Oh, Bob. The, uh, Bob's perfect. Mile. Get a burner car, just uh, halt traffic with it, right? Or, I'm sure you have a nice big gun, darling. Uh, there is, you know, you could take out the engine block as well. Good bullet will do that. And out of character, there's a called shot in, I think, run and gun. I have a list of them to literally disable vehicles. I've dealt with that one before. It isn't. I think it is in run and gun, and it definitely is called shot engine block. Yeah, there's a there's a couple of different ones you can actually do. I think I have them on imager if you'd like to. All right. Well, it looks like I'm bringing out Bertha. It is a negative four called shot. And it disables the vehicle if you hit the engine block, basically. He okay. also wants to like take out the axles and a few other things. So it's, yeah. I like the idea of tires. I was going to say, we, we probably want to do tires. You can like, still drive without tires, darling. <laughs> yeah. Tires yeah. explicitly allow you to drive. Engine block or uh, fuel tank will disable the vehicle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but I'd like this to look accidental for a while. Yeah, Ac accidental is more important. If you if you start shooting at the engine block, they're gonna know someone's shooting at the car. If the tire blows out, the tire just blew out. Oh, yeah, we're still it. trying to do it that way. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's a good point. All right, we have so many strong people. Just shoot them and then we kick off. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, so we're moving on to Plan Seven. <laughs> we're out of letters now. <laughs> yeah, right, let's let's settle on something here because we we do have a little bit of a spider web happening. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. So his his we found a choke point, right? Yep. We have yes. several choke points. And we have somebody who's good with long arm snipers and stuff. Yes. Okay. I want you to shoot a tire, and I want and then yeah, shoot the tire of one of the um the truck vehicles, right? So it looks like an accident, like it popped. And then when people start getting out of the truck, where are the cars? We just take care of them really quickly. <laughs> okay, and then we, we need a rental van loud. to load the um, the one from the truck with the damaged tire into the rental van and go. Yeah. Oh, we'll, basically, we'll, yeah. We'll pull up your rental van. Maybe my my van as well. If it's if it won't all fit in one rental van, your one rental van. Uh, I said they told us it would fit all into one car. So unless they're lying there, we should be good. We only need one car. <laughs> Real quick, yeah. you did also check the manifest on the in two different places and confirmed that the medical supplies you need to grab, what they are, so you can identify them when you need to grab them, and that they will fit in one van. Yeah, so this is all we're going to do is shoot at a tire. When it stops, we're going to go in hot. We're going to subdue everyone. <laughs> and uh, RC can keep his long arms, or you can drive up the van, and then we just load stuff in, and we take out... I think in combat turns, this will take us less than a minute to do. It'll be way before each GR shows up, and we just take off. Yep. You, just out of character, you realize a minute in combat turns is like 20 combat turns? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It'll take us less than a minute to do, and then we take off. So. <laughs> yeah. I like this it. Don's first road heist. It's not mine. <laughs> we can do this really easy. Because <laughs> um, we, we, I think we've discovered there's... How many people in total are involved in this? Between seven, two of them are civilians. Yeah, so seven people. We could take out seven people, right? We look like very capable people. Yeah, it'll be fun. Um, and only four, maybe maybe about four that we know of that are combat ready, right? Like everyone else's drivers. Not to say they don't have a gun, but they're probably not. 
they're not guards, quote unquote, right? So. Mm-hmm. Correct. So seven people. We're a runner, so we can easily take down seven people, right, darling? Yeah, it's, it's fine. All right. Unless you okay. would like me to face our way into this, I think we just do that. <laughs> Um, yeah, the only other thing to account for, which I will do so uh, with matrixy bullshit, is if we take the tire out and that initiates some other protocol of theirs, which is to hit the pedal onto the bottom of the floorboard uh, in every man for himself, at which point I'll just fork a data spike onto the two vehicles we're worried about and get them to stop immediately. All right. Well, it sounds like we've got a plan. I put the plan in red on the board. It's pretty simple. Okay, are we skipping to the day of, or do you want to go to the Thursday night first? Uh, yeah, did somebody wanted to try and slip some roofies into these some of these guys maybe make them a little bit weaker would it be a bad idea um or uh <laughs> did we just want to wing it uh give me one second let me look something up real quick and then uh and then i will be down down to clown i wonder if these military guys are on long haul too it doesn't long haul react really shittily if you take it twice Mm -hmm. uh, so Not real quick, call, darling, but I bet they're on jazz. They're corporate guys. Well, jazz is actually they have to do that right before because it only lasts like some short amount of time. Uh, you would yeah, know yeah, it in character. Like this is the this is the Thursday night we're we're talking about now. If we wanted to mess with the guards at the uh, the get together at all, yeah. Oh, so you know that uh, they wouldn't be on long haul because they're partying Thursday night. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I forgot all about them right. partying. That's a good point. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just basically we we have an opportunity to potentially weaken them or. Uh, you know, whatever, Thursday, do we want to take that opportunity? And somebody said he was looking something up to decide if he was going to do that. Um, yeah, let me look up something. Because the only Don's concern would be that they, uh, you know, we don't want to do anything that looks suspicious, and so if they don't show up, they may call off the transport. But yeah. But just, uh, if we buy them a few rounds, they're liable to get super wasted. That might make them uh, a little bit more susceptible to making a mistake when uh, shit hits the fan the following morning. Or following day. Sure. That and we'll also know who they are. So we have their faces and ready to go if you guys need to, you know, finger wiggle whatever at them. <laughs> all right, so... I'm not magical. I, you know, it's all... That's exactly how I would have described it. Finger wiggling. Did a little um, bit of finger wiggling. I'm more than happy to go party with some Evo if you would like to. I think that sounds delightful, but uh, otherwise I think we could just, you know, kill them. So the closest thing I have to a roofie would be slab. That's about it. And <laughs> I mean, I would have to inject it into them, so it's not really much of a roofie. Well, yeah. again, we don't, we don't want them not to show up for uh, work, but I... <laughs> oh, and she'll laugh at Macbeth with the, the, the creepy laugh I just did. And like I do have a lot of Nova Coke still. If you would like to have a party, yeah, that just cringes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like rubs his jaw a little bit. <laughs> uh, the RC is going to glower a little. <laughs> let's uh, let's meet up in a few days, huh? Not for the no, not for the Nova Coke thing. For the for the job, do the job, do the All job. Right. Everybody, do the job. Do the All right, so you're not doing Thursday night then? Or are you doing? I don't. I don't think we have a sufficient plan or supplies to uh, make their life miserable on Thursday night. Okay, yeah. so we're skipping to Friday. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm trying to think. That, like, if you guys really want to mess with them, I will happily mess with them. But uh, <laughs> I, don't I, really I was, was going to say, like, I mean, we could just show up at the bar and just. Put on a show and be like, "Oh my God, you guys, you guys got promotions! Oh man, more drinks! You good old drinky drinks!" Yeah, all right, fine. Yeah, let's go. If we got that hint, let's go to the bar. Let's go to the bar. Come on, come on, Macbeth. I'll make you look like an orc. I don't want to look like an orc. 
Oh, how about an elf? You'd be pretty. I don't like elves. I mean, I like elves. There's nothing wrong with elves. Are there any elves? Uh, I think you like elves very much, my friend. <laughs> Real quick, just to add a character, but just addressing it to the party because some of your characters might act on this. Um, Macbeth has just said that uh, his that Macbeth does not like orcs. <laughs> I just think I corrected it too. <laughs> no, no, you said that. that was said. It was the said. Done. Yeah, it was said, but I also said it in character. I mean, I don't. I don't mean I don't like orcs. I just, you know, I don't want to. I don't want to be an orc. It's not that I don't want to be an orc because they're orcs. What's wrong with being an orc? I, I just don't want to be an orc because like I, I, I'm fond of not having tusks. How would I eat? I don't know how to eat. Would you have tusks? How do you even uh, shirt on? What if Macbeth, you I don't have enough rope to throw down to you. Stop digging. <sighs> yeah. Put the shovel down, boy. <laughs> Let's go to this party. I need to get. Let's to go to the party. I want to go to the party. I want to go to the party. This would be fun. Yeah, I need to get drunk. Who wants to go to the party? How about you? Who you? You, my fing my wiggly friend over there, as they say, your wiggly fingers. Uh, what is it you do? And I'm only asking you that in character, so then I can go look just by looking at your character sheet to see what spells you have. <laughs> uh, I'm assuming your character would tell me. Did your character tell me what kind of spells he has? Uh, yeah, probably. I guess I would. Do a lot of manipulation there. Oh, we can Illusion. bond over that sometime. You do anything similar? I already oh, know, you know some of your spells. I dabble here and there. She would definitely not tell you her spell list. Other than, like, healthy glow and physical mask. Oh. I already figured those two out. Yeah, that's all she would admit to. Uh, oh, I can inc increase your charisma if you want to be more prettier, you know. My yeah, charisma is high enough as here. it is. Makeup, fashion, that's really my thing. Awakened makeovers, I have a license for it. You have licenses <laughs> for that? Oh, yes, darling. You always have to have license for your magics, especially when you're changing things. Manipulation, you know, a little touchy on that subject. There we go. So, nobody make a big scene. <laughs> we just feed them drinks. Feed me drinks. We all go home. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> feed me drinks. Yes. Listen, buddy, we don't want you too drunk. We need, <laughs> we, need you, we need you to work tomorrow. <laughs> Listen, I have never been drunk, sir. No, so, I believe that's how we got to this tapas place, is not? <laughs> yes, I outdrank a dwarf. Did I know a dwarf then? I feel like he was a dwarf. He there was, was a dwarf on that run. He was um, little. He <laughs> didn't have a very yeah, good outlaw. That's, that's, that's a right. handicap. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're stout. They're stout. They that dwarf. particular dwarf, um, out of character, not in character, I'm the GM. <laughs> that particular dwarf had like the lowest tolerance ever and got wasted. Yeah, we were. <laughs> I think Plink won that round, right? <laughs> well, that yeah, that was after I was like nine deep. All right, <laughs> Plink wasn't even allowed to get her own drinks. She got like carded. Yeah, I had to bring her alcohol. Um, yeah, we we toured a brewery, and I just drank at every opportunity. Started taking stun damage at one point. Oh, that's how you know you're doing it good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pain only means the alcohol's working. That's yeah. That was my motto. That's how I got a dick on my face. Just the drawing. Just to clarify. Sitting here, the Raven roll. That's how you got a dick on your face. <laughs> oh yeah, sticks a pretty woman. Um. So yeah, I'm gonna, I think we go home, sleep, and then we're gonna try this again. Oh, trit phantasm. Am, am I staying a pretty woman? Uh, no, not after I go to sleep, darling. <laughs> like touching himself. <laughs> yeah, like, how long is this last? <laughs> Can I take this home with me? <laughs> yeah, I take it home, darling. When I go to sleep tonight, it's going to disappear. Enjoy for the next six hours. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, Truth Phantasm. That, that one's fun. We'll, we'll have a that good spot about that. I love that spell. <clears throat> anyway, so yeah, I think we're going to all go home, take a nap for a few days, and then go to a party. And I'm we're going to nap for a few days? Holy <laughs> yeah. crap. We just shut down. <laughs> Power down. <laughs> Wait until Thursday. No, I got a couple of days, though, before the party, right? In character? So I can heal my Yeah, son. it's been about two days because of all of the driving and such. It's it, it, You still have like four days until the, okay. the, the Thursday, and then another full day until the other day. 
Okay. So yeah, you, yeah. any edge you've lost at this point, you can recover. It's just about um, to pass. Thank you. Yeah, I've got the high lifestyle and whatnot. Just even with regular lifestyle, you 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 can get a hearty meal. Sure. Mm-hmm. I just like to brag about my high lifestyle. But that's fun. <laughs> come come see my bathroom, darling. Classic <laughs> upper class, always bragging about their lifestyle. <laughs> I'll see your high lifestyle and raise it fourteen thousand more. <laughs> <laughs> fourteen thousand fruitless dollars that mean nothing. Well, I guess you got the tub. The tub. I got the tub. And the maid. And the maid. And a driver. Do you have a driver now? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Take the extra money. Um, so yeah, I think that's all we're gonna do. Uh, I'm just gonna do this out of character because I think we've done a lot of fluff. Uh, whenever it comes party time, Don will offer to do physical mass for up to two people, um, or she'll do some improved charisma. Does uh, so anyone actually just have disguise? Because that makes life easier. I do not. I, I have a couple points in disguise, but not a lot. <laughs> actually, so I made it a point to actually learn that skill. Well, we everyone, have well, we have all day to do this too. That helps a little bit. But. Everyone who does not have disguise, please roll your edge to see who gets turned into women. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's convenient. I've already won this round. <laughs> You're physically masking other people. I thought you said. No, I I know. I was just joking. Um, I'm gonna opt for just a just the disguise. I I won't take one of the magical disguises. Because uh, I don't plan on interacting with anybody. I just plan on getting shit-faced. Well, I think only magical disguises okay. will make me not look like a troll. <laughs> and oh, even then, I still yeah, look like a troll. Like someone we'll, put, we'll put a nice hat on you. Get, get yeah. you some nice shoes. No one if you'd like, I could just do your hair. <laughs> if you don't that, want to fold this nice. I can easily change your hair. If you have a facial hair, I can give you a nice style to it. Uh, I right, change your mind. I'll take whichever. Uh, you're already blonde, darling. Oh, I should mention that that's not a maintained spell. You're literally blonde until like it naturally fades out. You just you just made it blonde. I essentially dyed your hair blonde, so it'll probably be that way for several weeks. Good luck. You didn't tell me about that. You just did that. You, you were unconscious. You were unconscious. <laughs> yeah. So at what point do I walk a past a reflective surface? Probably on our way out, right? I bet this is a restaurant. It's probably got a reflective surface somewhere. I mean, when you walked out of Tapas, I think this is when this happened. Uh, Wayne will congratulate you on your new hairdo. <laughs> yeah, I'll just touch my face, be like, "What are you talking, mother?" Fuck, and I'll just like look at Don. <laughs> yeah, but that, that spell lasts like a like. We really went to a parlor and did it, so you're that's good for weeks. Um, enjoy. Gee, thanks. Wait, like he got his hair dyed kind of a thing? Yeah. It's, it's Isn't like that like a month you, or two? Like, uh, he went and got his hair did. did. Oh, so his God. hair is really dyed now indefinitely until it naturally fades out. <laughs> <laughs> and he cuts it off, I guess, right? Cause, yeah. Wow. I don't know if you want to shave. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Uh, so, yeah, if anyone doesn't want a full disguise, I can just do your hair and things. Um. Macbeth's just shaking his head. No, don't let her do that. <laughs> No, I'm good. I just bought a kid I need to practice with. Oh, yeah. I'd, I'd, I'd like to hold this, guys. Sounds um, like a good idea. Did we find out what sort of bar this was? Hole in the wall. Oh, man. Okay, so I'm not going to with wear my Irish sounding over. name. Yeah. And it's in Tacoma. I'll just do the blood red Armani dress. And the red heels. Oh, the red heels. Got to put back on my lingerie. There we go. Uh, I haven't got to wear this dress yet. I'm so excited. On a mission, anyway. Um, okay. And then we're going to go do fun stuff. So I'm going to pop some Nova Coke and some Psych. So let me get some drug rolls out. And I'm going to do this, obviously, probably in the car on the way kind of thing. So I'm not crashing from the drugs. Car, right? I was going to say, that's, that's real classy and safe. <laughs> <laughs> Just off the dashboard, yeah. <laughs> off the dashboard. I imagine she made me pick her up, but... Maybe that's what the grid is for. Yeah. Uh, oh, did, okay, so, wow. Ooh, I like this. This is good. What the hell did I just uh, get a picture of? Okay, um... So, again, who do I want to physically mask? And why did I just leave the roll 20 thing? Uh, 
Uh, Tropic, right? Actually, uh, so let your question. Who all wants to go to the bar? Because I can't mask everyone. <laughs> or I will not mask everyone. Uh, I'll be going to the bar, and, uh, yeah, considering my, dis my, like, I do have a couple points in the skies, but I'd rather not risk it, so we'll, uh, we'll go with a fantastic magical spell. Okay, that's Tropic, right? Yes. Yeah, and I'd, I'd also like a little bit of a mask as well. Hmm... Okay, yeah, I know. Dawn, Dawn does not care if people see her, so she'll mask the other two. Um, but she'll point out, if you want me to mask both of you, uh, you know what, never mind. I will happily do it, and I'm just going to actually roll up. I'm just going to take Psych instead of Novico, because then I can maintain masks longer. But uh... Wait, so our plan is to go, is, is Steak wants to go and Tropic wants to go? Mm-hmm. I mean, Beth is going yeah, oh, yeah. Beth right? is going to get completely shit-faced. I just happen to be going to the same bar is basically what's happening. Uh, but Steak, okay. you're not a face type, right? So you're probably not talking to these guys? I am not. Though I would like to uh, uh, kind of memorize their uh, um, astral signatures. Okay. That that I can do. So we're going to do this essentially in the downtime that we have. So that that way if I take Drain, I don't have to... Uh, I can sleep it off. <laughs> so what you're saying is we meet a little early to pregame. Macbeth will bring... <laughs> The cooler, and uh... I think your pregame is different than her pregame. Her pregame involves Nova Coke and Psych. <laughs> That's pretty That's close. <laughs> All right, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, uh, uh, we can do this because this lasts impermanent until it fades out. So we have got time to stick that. Uh, luckily, it's yep, only fine. Time. Yeah. So, so uh, you're not unconscious, right? You're fine. Yeah. <laughs> Steak, you uh, you get a lovely new hairdo. Um, I don't know what your hair really looks like in game because I've forgotten already. But uh, it, you now get a pompadour, a beautiful pompadour of the uh, opposite color that your current hair is. Oh, to go with your Buddha, distinctive style. Uh, yeah, that's what I already got going for me. <laughs> okay, so uh, so you don't look. Uh, you still look like yourself essentially, but you look different. So uh, there's probably some deniability there that it was you. Um, and then I'm going to cast physical mask on Tropics. I assume we're actually going to be talking to people. Yes. So. I will just I'll edge that. That's better. Thank God. You got two zeros. Uh, yeah. yeah, and that's. I mean, it's not. It's not really that painful. It would have been like four stun, but I don't want to do it this early in the game. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm not gonna cast physical mass on myself. <laughs> And she's going to look at Topic while we're doing all this, like, do you do drugs, darling? Do you want some Nova Coke? Uh, I'm good, thank you, though. Okay, then. Uh, what is your charisma? Uh, six. Ew. Yeah, no, I'm not doing that anymore. Ah. Keep screwing up my drain dice, sorry. Okay. Um, let me add up my stun damage that I'm going to be enjoying. Oh, okay, I'm good there. Okay, I only took like two stun, or I mean one stun, so I think I'm okay. <clears throat> but I am maintaining two spells, so I will pop my psych. Okay, I think I'm good. So I look uh, normal. Um, Tropic looks like. What's your meta type normally? Human. Human. Okay, you you now look like. 
a fantastic human of a completely opposite skin tone that you normally are. And actually, I should do you a meta type. Yeah, you're going to be probably... Hmm. Did we know they like special? They like any meta type. So, yeah. You're yeah. now a beautiful orc. Mm -hmm. and, and you have the opposite skin tone of whatever you normally have. So that you look completely different. And you have flamboyant red hair. All right. I like it. You look very distinguished because they like that sort of thing. And I will, I will keep track of that. What it, is. it was a force five spell. Okay, so five. I'll just make a note on that on the board. I think we're good. Okay, Sorry. yep. That sounds pretty good. So you're going to the, uh, what did I say, McDouglas's or something? Something like the that. Bar? McGregory's, I think. McGregor's. Yeah, that was right. McGregor's. McGregor's, McGregor's Pub. Uh, in Tacoma, you go to McGregor's, uh, you walk in, I'm assuming all, uh, how do you go, do you all walk in together? No, 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 darling, not going to walk that drunken them. fool that can go by himself, Stake, you go by yourself so they don't see we're together, and me and my orc friend here, we're, we'll mingle. She's pointing to Tropic, who's disguised as an orc. <laughs> so Macbeth goes in first, and, uh, he sits down, and make me a perception check real quick. <laughs> Yep, okay, that's perfectly fine. So, um, you look around, and across the bar, you see a pack of beautiful women, uh, but your view is quickly obstructed by a minotaur who notices you and walks down and sits next to you. And the minotaur... Is it a man uh, or a woman? Man, minotaur. Okay. The minotaur quickly introduces himself. Oh, wait, Chummer, my name's Kazooie. How are you? Dry. Yeah, this is a great place to get a drink. Just be careful. I saw you looking at those women earlier. Uh, just be careful. They tend to emasculate men because of how much they know. You don't want to really get involved with them, I don't think. <laughs> is he sitting down? So, GM. Uh, he sat down next to you. Macbeth has an appropriate negative quality for this. He's this is specifically different. done because of this negative quality. I am very well aware. <laughs> you, you said he's sitting down? He is sitting down next to you. I uh I like I like very slowly like look look him up and down and then I, I look back at the women and I say they're off limits. No 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 they're not off limits. I'm just looking out for a friend. I just you know after a night with them you tend to feel like you don't know anything anymore. If that makes sense, you you know you feel totally upstaged. You sir seem depressing. Um. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to stick with depressing. Okay, he's going to just order himself another drink and say, sit yourself, Chummer. He's going to start downing. He actually ordered like three pints at once, and he quickly just two disappear in the corner in the blink of an eye, and then he starts sipping the third. <laughs> Classy. It's, you know, Minotaur. <laughs> Still at my table? No, you're at a bar. Oh, okay, okay. There's not like, you know, it's a bar. Okay, you're yeah, bar. sure, sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll just continue to to look past him and and at how many how many women are are down there? There's about four or five. Uh, you see that the men are mostly avoiding them because they don't want to be upstaged, basically. All right, here it comes. Um, Thirteen dice. I stand up and uh, I assume I've ordered a drink at this point. Um, yep, you have a drink in front of you. Some sort of whiskey, and I'll uh, I'll pat the uh, the minotaur on the back as he's drinking to hopefully make him cough a little bit, and then uh, <laughs> make my way down to the uh, the group, um, and I will say, um, uh, well, are, are they interacting with anybody when I when I'm, when I'm on my approach? Or are they just mingling together? Each other. As you walk over, you hear them all like. Uh, together say woo. They say woo? T yeah, they're all sitting together, and someone must have said something that they all say woo to, so they all say woo. Uh, real quick, just for future reference, what you're, you just have your blonde disguise on is what you have? Uh, yeah, I apparently have. I, I, I look like me yeah, with blonde hair. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, so you, you're walking over towards these women. <laughs> and they all say woo. I will also say woo and ask if this seat's taken. Nope, they'll totally say no, that seat's not taken. Uh, 
and then they'll start passing around stuff, uh, something that you don't know. And two of the women will actually stand up and kind of start uh, walking to the other side of the room and angling so the bartender notices them, while the other ones start doing lines of Nova Coke on the bar. <laughs> and, uh. you know. Uh, since you're sitting there, they just, you know, of course, put a line in front of you. <laughs> yeah, I think we're well past resisting that. Um, do you know what the uh, the role for Nova Coke addiction is? Uh, you're not uh, addicted to it, right? No, I'm not addicted. To see if he's not addicted. Like, like, I'm going to do the line. <laughs> no, I know. Um, I, oh, I forget, I know. actually. Do you know? I just need the I need the, the like the threshold minus the yeah it just or whatever. my sheet. Why don't you have this listed out at this point? You I should have this in your spreadsheet. I don't do Nova Coke. I had, you've done Nova Coke so many times. Well, I don't purposefully do it. It's only ever forced upon me. <laughs> I don't do Nova Coke. It's just always right in front of me, and then I happen to do it. Just people so, always give it to me. So Nova Coke is both physical and um, psychological addiction. Oh, of course it is. Uh-huh, so you have to do your average, but the threshold is seven, so four is the bonus dice to uh, it. And it's the average between body and willpower? Is that body and willpower plus your at logic and willpower plus four. All right, so logic. Uh, so that'd be plus eight. Logic plus eight. It's the average of your logic plus your willpower, and the average of your body plus your willpower, then plus four. Oh, God, okay. Um... <laughs> it's just one roll, right? Though I, th I thought it, I thought it was just one roll. Okay, so yes, the house rule for it: take find the average of your body plus your willpower. Uh, that'd be four. Is okay. the average? Is the average? Then what's your logic plus willpower? Um, average. Uh, like six and a half. Okay, you can so round up seven. That would be ten plus four. You're rolling fourteen dice. Right. What's the threshold I have to hit? Two. Sir, yeah, two, two. I snort it up and uh, do a little flick of the nose, uh, th the thumb against the nose when it's there, and I say, uh, "Let's get this party started." Yep, uh, you don't. You, you totally are not addicted to Nova Coke. Um, unfortunately, that doesn't seem to have been the only thing in there, and you don't remember <laughs> the rest of the night. You will get back to what oh happens to you afterwards. <laughs> Perfect. Oh God. Don't say, oh god, it's your fault. You're the one that gave me the stupid trait. <laughs> oh god. I'm going to end up in Denver. It's, it was, it's been a fear of mine. What's wrong with Denver? <laughs> it's it's not good story. when you don't mean to go there. Ghostwalker's a great guy. You keep just trying to go there recently. You're I looking just, up apartments. I want it noted that I'm very aware of where my kidneys are. And if I, <laughs> I wake up with one, I'm going to be pissed. Nope. Okay, oh. so uh, now that the funny part is done, the serious social uh, infiltration can now occur. So will our faces please walk into the bar and do whatever you're going to do? Okay. <laughs> uh, we're going to walk into the bar. We'll... I guess I'll make a perception check to scope out who's in the bar. So, yeah, make a perception check. Okay, uh, you totally see a minotaur sitting at the bar, and in a spot that you don't know this, but was used to be occupied by Macbeth, and the other one on the other side of this guy are two orcs. Um, they seem to be pounding back drinks at a very rapid pace and hitting on anything with two legs. All right, so I'm I'm presuming these are the horn dog drivers. We are. Uh, you do not see anyone else looking like a douchebag in this bar besides these three guys and two dwarves sitting at a table in the back, but they're kind of just being quiet and, like, kind of creepy. Not, uh, you know, a as bad as the three, the two orcs and the minotaur pounding back many, many drinks in the front. All right. Uh, I will approach, approach them at the bar. Uh, hey, brothers. What's what's the good occasion? You seem to be pounding back all these drinks. 
And this was what meta type do you look like again? An orc? An I orc. believe orc. Okay. Uh hello right, Jeremy, yeah, you wanna sit down and drink with us? Who am I to refuse a drink? <laughs> so you're gonna sit down, uh they're gonna just you're not even it seems like the bartender knows them and just kinda like they don't even seem to be paying for all they they're certainly paying for some of their drinks. But it just seems like drinks appear sometimes, and they don't seem to be paying for nearly all of them. And some of these free drinks appear in front of you. Like three glasses are now in front of your face. All right, well, cool deal. Uh, I will pick up the first one and uh, drink it uh, just a little slowly. Oh, hey, Chummer, you pulling you pulling our legs? What the heck? One at a time? I start off real slow, you know, get myself acclimated to the. Whatever cider the bar's got. Once once I got a good taste for it, that's when I started knocking them back. Um, is, is the, are the other two people that are coming in uh, doing anything at this point? Oh, Dawn is with him. Dawn's just back there kind of smirking, though. <laughs> She's just enjoying this. Wait, there's a female orc also there? They're, of course, going to offer up the other seat uh, for you to join them. You said this was a skeezy bar, though, right? Yes. Oh. No, I won't sit down. I think I like the stand. It, it shows off my figure. I remember I'm in like a blood red, like I fashion dress. Yep. Well, to you know, clear room because the bars have the bar stools in front of them, so you can't really stand at the bar uh, there. But uh, Kazooie, as he's going to introduce himself as, is going to walk over. He's going first of all, he's going to shove his orc buddy over one. Then he's going to take the chair that was in the spot where you're going to stand, and uh, that's going to go across the room. And then he's going to, you know, make a grand gesture of sweeping his arm, like, allowing you to sit down. And he's going to sit back at his seat, and he's going to order three drinks for you. Oh, uh, Don, Don sees him like it, he wants her to sit in his chair. He's taken the chair, and it is now broken on the wall ac- on the other oh, side of oh, the bar. Oh, so I have space to stand. I got you. You have space like, to stand. I'm with you now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don will happily stand there and smile at him. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, thank you, darling. You're such a gentleman. Um, and you do not see Macbeth. Uh, you wouldn't see Macbeth even if you did good because they're actively preventing you from seeing him with their, like, blocking of the doing of Nova Coke. Oh, is it a spell? Because I would be able to see possibly. No, there's physical bodies, like, standing in front of you oh, and attracting male attention. No. I have no perception, so, yeah, I'm completely oblivious. <laughs> oh. But Don has decided that he belongs to her, so she would be interested in where he's at. He's her property. Uh, well, that's going to be... He, he's going to have some explaining to do tomorrow. Um, <laughs> hmm. It's very unprofessional of him. I'm not hiring you for more jobs. <laughs> oh, oh, yes. Anyway, so yes, we're mingling with these, with, with these fellows. And Tropic is getting drunk. Um... I gotta make uh, it look good. <laughs> and you're, are you touching your drinks in front of you at all? Don? No. No, 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 darling. That's not how I party. It, despite what the uh, me feed suggests, they're actually going to be gentlemen. They're not going to, like, you know, encourage you at all. They're just going to accept that you're not drinking. Uh, they're going to continue. They're about nine more deep since you've walked in here. But, of course, you know, Minotaur. Mm-hmm. And they'll look at your buddy... And say, hey, you have any friends with any military experience? You talking to me? Friends with military experience? Yeah. Ugh. Uh, I don't... What are you looking for, exactly? Yeah, see those doors over in the corner? Alright, I'm, I'm gonna look back and be like, yeah, well, what of them? See how they're not even drinking half as many drinks as us? Well, sometimes they can't handle even that because, you know, doors can't handle their liquor. And, you know, we have a run tomorrow, and half the time they're so drunk, we just, we have to do it our own. So we would like, you know, someone, you'd have, at least one of you would have to have military experience, but we, we like someone with, uh, to be able to just call. We would vouch for you, of course, and you could take the other vehicle when we do our run. Uh, I might know a guy. If you give me give me a few minutes. I can call around and see uh see if I can find anyone. Do you do you care like 
I mean, not to be racist or anything, but do you care if he's like a human? Or... Nah, we don't care. We just need someone for that. Just to, you know, it's a just something we have to fill out on a form or whatever. So oh, one you, of them has to be. You just need a body and a gun attached to it. Okay, brother. Essentially. I, can, I, I think I can find something for you. Although it looks like it doesn't need it tonight. Those guys are going kind of slow. They look like they might actually be able to, you know, keep it up tomorrow and not, like, sleep over the time. All right, well, let's, we'll keep an eye on them. If they get a little too wild, I'll, you can, you can count on your good old buddy. And then we could rip all that dwarf crap out of their seats to make it actually drivable by a human. Or, <laughs> or, or anyone else that's not, like, two foot tall. Yeah, and that's... <laughs> <laughs> they sit on little little books or something. <laughs> yeah, these little things so their f little feet can reach the pedals. It's hilarious. And after he says that, he's gonna because he's gonna drown like three more drinks. Oh, I like you. <laughs> you good guy. Hey, next round of drinks is on me for this guy. Uh, do you guys want to, at this point, do anything or say anything? Um, I was going to say that I was going to make a perception test, but never mind. I can't see things. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to be able to see Macbeth. There's, like, women who are attracting guys like crazy, actively blocking, like, a wall. I was actually going to see if those guys were getting drunk, because that's the goal. So I wanted to see if I needed to help them along or uh, if they're doing it themselves. But I, I mean, I don't he have wasn't a... lying to you. You don't need a perception check to be able to see that they're just, you know, it's not, they're in the bar with you. There's not like something that prevents your sight. You can totally see them without having to make a check, right? And you totally see that, you know, they're kind of going slow tonight. Yeah, that's what that's what I was asking for. Okay, perfect. Um, well, they're minotaurs, so I was just trying to see: are they starting to weave and slur like I do when I drink? Okay. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. The minotaurs? No, no, no. The minotaurs are drinking very fast. The dwarves in the corner are drinking slow, but the minotaur oh. also doesn't seem like the alcohol affects him very much because he he, he must just for the taste. Well, because he has a body of like ten, probably. So yeah. I, I'm not going to tell you what his body is, but right. there are connotations you can take from him drinking lots of drinks he's, and not taking it. He's away. a minotaur, so. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's see, what do I got here? Hmm. At this point, though, the uh, the troll that he pushed over, or not the troll, the orc that he pushed over is the, the female one that was mentioned in the me feed, and she's going to start hitting on you. I never typed that right. I'm doing some uh, sensing. I just want to see if any of them are awakened, essentially. Uh, yeah. If I can get I, that. I believe with that many hits, you can tell that the Minotaur is totally an adept, mm -hmm. but the rest are mundane. Good. That's all I really wanted to know. I think I'm doing anything else. Three hits is pretty low. Uh, oh, the presence and location of Alpha Wear Cyber Implants? Um, you see Cyber Implants all over the place, except for the Minotaur. Okay. He doesn't have as much, but, you know, it seems like these guys are pretty crumbed out. <laughs> is his magic higher or lower than mine? Which is, mine's a six, so I'm going to assume it's lower, probably. Um, it's a little bit lower. Okay. Um, are any of them s disease or toxins? <laughs> are any of them sick? <laughs> uh, I mean, some of them might uh, suffer from alcoholism, but <laughs> right, yeah, exactly. nothing, nothing like that, no. No, I'm dying of cancer. Okay. Um, oh, I do get the presence and location of cyberware implants. All over? Like, I, so, you definitely tell that they're, like, their muscles and stuff are totally messed up, and they're all, their body, basically, is all messed up. You don't see, like, data jacks or, like, things in the head, necessarily. It's just and mostly it would, their body has stuff in it. It would just be cyber, so not bioware, so I wouldn't get that, but, uh... Yeah, you just see some cyberware throughout their bodies. Okay. Perfect. I will not tell the team that now, because I don't want to get my phone out and start texting, but I will tell everyone that later. I mean, that's... Mm -hmm. D&I kind of just works. You can just, like, blink, and it does, right? Only if you're using troids or something. <laughs> 
You got out of care gym without trodes? I don't know. I didn't. I do not buy trodes. Do, do you see my hair? Do you see this hair? I'm not putting trodes on my hair. Get out of here. Purdue is right. fantastic, right? I wake up every morning and do this. Like, it's a lot of work. Fair point. Uh, does the other face that's in the room uh, or steak, who I think also went in, do you, do you guys want to do anything uh, while you're here? Uh, I went in separately behind them. Right. So, but you definitely, if she's not DNIing, I'm assuming that uh, Tropic is still. Yeah. I, I still have Trodes ready to go. Um, yeah. I'm going to DNI. Oh, boy. Uh, so the two faces have already engaged with these orcs. Uh, I'm gonna DNI stake to, uh, buy some drinks for the, like, the dwarfs over at the table. Get them, try to, try to up the pace on them a little bit. I'm also just gonna roll some sensing on them. You see basically the same thing. I, I told her there's not much... I think the difference between two and three is not much. I don't know what you wouldn't have seen. Let me just look that not up. Not much. Uh, you wouldn't have seen, like, alphaware, but you would still see cyberware. Yeah, they don't necessarily have alphaware. <laughs> yeah, otherwise it's a lot of the magic stuff and whatnot that I've already enforced that we've already kind of talked about. So you wouldn't quite see that, but Don will tell you later. Um, if it's not yep. critical. So, not. yep. Um, I'm not, it's a low-class kind of hole-in-the-wall bar, so I'm not going to make a, if you're going to buy them drinks, I'm not going to make you, actually pay for them, if that makes sense. We'll cover it with your love lifestyle. Assuming you don't have a squatter lifestyle. I do not have a uh, squatting lifestyle. <laughs> yep, so you can, even low lifestyle, you know, that's like 90% of your low lifestyle is buying tons of drinks in the bar. <laughs> Trying to remember to forget that you have a low lifestyle. Right. Um, so the orcs we're with are pretty, like, they're pretty deep on their drinks right now, right? They're pretty dr deep, but they're, they're not going quite as fast as the Minotaur. They're, right. they seem like they have less, um, aptitude to just drink and not feel it. So they're going a bit slower. The Minotaur is obviously noting this. So even if you didn't notice this. He's making it painfully obvious by, like, uh, belittling them for their not ability to be a minotaur and drink tons of drinks and not feel it. Alright. Um, so, the one orc I'm real chummy with, I'm gonna get real close to him and be like, Hey, you know, I had a really good idea, brother. I just... Why don't we teach those guys what's what? We'll drink them under the table. He totally loves that idea, and he's you know, he's not even waiting for you. He's walking over to the bartender. You hear him over ordering uh, boiler makers with right. extra shots in them. Okay. So if, for what you don't know, that's a I've never actually been to Pittsburgh, but that's like a Pittsburgh style drink where they it's beer, but then they drop shots in it. Okay. So All basically, right. it looks like beer, but the orc has made sure that there's at least three shots in both of the beers, and he's All ordered right. like doubles for all of them, and he's bringing it over, because he can hold that many beers in his arms, because he's an orc. Yeah, it's coated with whiskey, by the way. I, I lived, oh, in for, lived in Pittsburgh for the last four years. That's my motivation for Macbeth. Yeah, so it, he definitely has whatever Macbeth said about whiskey and beer, and there's totally lots of it. It's, you know, it's not actual whiskey, it's soy calf, whatever, or soy whiskey, whatever the hell that would be. You know, the future. Yeah. Well, no. The future is—it's not better than whiskey. Actual whiskey would be better, but this is yeah, what no. low but place bar can afford. All right. Um. So yeah, uh, I'm gonna grab a. I'm gonna grab a couple drinks, and walk over to the table with the. the as, he, as he starts to walk over, Don will catch his attention. Like, not too much, darling. You don't forget we're all working here tomorrow. Well, not here, but you know what I mean. It's a work day. It just gave him kind of a wink, I guess. Like, I'll, I'll do what he's gonna laugh, and he'll down three more drinks. <laughs> Damn. Okay. I'll I'll try to keep it easy, dear. All right, just a couple dwarves. I'm sure I, I can drink one glass, and they're done.
I forgot my things, but that's still plenty of hits. Yeah, he's fine. Hits. No, that's it. Didn't I didn't do it greater than six? It's just the total. But that's still like one, two, three, four. I see at least five hits there, so that's fine. Or one, two. I only see three hits there. Three hits. That's still hits. fine. It's still fine. He doesn't take a stun. <clears throat> so, uh, what? Uh, so you're feeding the the uh, dwarves drinks. Uh, yes. You want to role play that a little bit? Uh, yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna walk up to the table, couple drinks in each hand, just slam on the table in front of the dwarves, be like, "Come on, you bums! I bet you can't down all this." The dwarves are going to take that as a challenge to their dwarven fortitude, um, and they're going to totally start, bleh, totally start drinking all of those drinks, uh, not realizing that they're triple shot boiler makers. All right, that's that's good. <laughs> so if you're keeping count, they're each drinking that's, twelve standard drinks, which is a lot. That's like that's a lot. It's <laughs> a lot all at one time. It's a yeah, they're all going to be very sick. Are you going to do anything else to the drinks? Maybe, like... I... I honestly don't feel like I need to. <laughs> nope, uh, they, they start to look pretty drunk. The orc is going to start laughing at them. The The female orc that was on the other side of Nikoya is going to walk over and start, like, insinuating that they're, uh... They're half in all aspects of life, if that makes sense. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Sorry, what? That's... There's a female orc make, making fun of the dwarves with you, saying that they're only half a man in all oh, aspects. Yeah, so the awful, I hate. Oh, the, 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 yeah, Don will totally agree. <laughs> so I'm, I'm not a fan of dwarves. I, I had a little trouble with one once. I've never cared for them again. Like, um, I mean, they're, 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 they're delightful people to work with. It's just. Oh. So do you want to do anything else tonight, um, socially? Like hospital and, uh, I didn't worry about it, um, socially. Uh, I mean, Don's going to trust, uh, Tropic to accomplish things. I mean, Tropic has totally accomplished what he's going to accomplish by <laughs> convincing the orc to totally fuck over the dwarves. So um, look around the bar, Don's going to look for steak, and she's going to look for Macbeth again, who should be here, but if she doesn't see him, I will. <laughs> Roll perception? Oh, God, no. Oh, Tropic, I need you to do something for me. Uh, oh, I got two. Sweet. Easy. Not enough to see You do not see any Macbeths. Uh, you okay. totally see Tropic and yeah. Steak. Hello. Or she'll, like, she'll not look, make eye contact with Steak. We don't want to blow his cover, but... Uh, so she'll just wait till Tropic's done, and then uh, it's, it's this big minute. Oh, no, he left me. Okay, yeah, that's it. <laughs> All right, so, so... I assume the night's basically over at this point, unless you explicitly want to do something, anything else. Uh, uh yeah, Don I was, Sorry. Okay. I say, when we leave the bar, Don is going to try to DNI to make Beth, because she's curious where he went. Uh, and just real quick, what kind of com code did, uh... Did you give him your real com code, or did you give him one of your... Do you have no. Well, yeah, I did either way. No, I don't. It was Tropic that talked to the... But, uh, Tropic was the one that was getting the uh, the talk about the job. Be a replacement yeah. driver. Yeah. 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 Beth has my perf personal phone, which is a Nick Dorf. But he would also probably have my Fuji Cyber. He has all my phones. Yeah. Well, he, uh, he's not in his right mind right now. Yeah, no, it's fine. If, he, if I don't get a hold of him, I won't. She would just uh, try to make it a point, because... Yeah. Nope, makes sense. <laughs> You, you're right, trying to get ownership, but that's, you know, he's not in responsive right now. Yeah, no, that's fine. That's perfectly good. Yeah, no, just because Don's worked with him a couple of times and she's uh, decided that she's going to hire him when she puts together her runner business. So, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah no, no worries. All right, then, yeah, Don and Tropic and we'll, we'll leave together, I suppose. Yeah, if he's ready to I go. don't see, I'm looking at Tropic's sheet. Does Tropic have a com link somewhere? Yeah, I have, uh, I have two com links. Okay. I just am not. Uh, looking. Oh, you do have a meta link. So I'm assuming you give him. Are you giving him the meta link code or the Hermes icon code? Uh, I'm gonna give him the meta link. Good call. All right. So uh, the next day, first of all, Macbeth. Macbeth. Presence. Presence. Yep. Yeah. Um. Do I have Macbeth both my kidneys? Up. 
Nope, nope. You have both your kidneys. You wake up in a bed with about five women. And roll a d6. Oh. Roll a d60? A d6. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Five is good. You have five points of stun on you. And you are <laughs> wake up in the bed next to uh, about, you know, you're in, it's like a twin size bed where there's about five women in it with you. And you have to kind of slowly excavate yourself out of that situation. Well, well hang on. Why? Why what? <laughs> because we have a job to do. <laughs> oh, yeah. Never mind. I'm not telling you you have to, but if you want to leave without, you know, waking up everybody and having to perform. From, 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 my, to... from my seated or laying position, uh, am I wearing clothes? No. No <laughs> one is wearing clothes. Do I see my belongings? Like they the... are, there's a pile of stuff. Uh, men, your stuff, you can see some of it underneath the pile of obviously women's stuff. Okay, sorry. Um, in a, like kind of a line from the door to this room to the bed. Okay. Um, then yes. Uh, and, and can I tell, like, is there a window? Can I tell, like, roughly what time it is? Uh, noon. Okay. I will proceed to very slowly... Uh, try to crawl off the bed or whatever surface I'm laying on, gather my belongings, and hope that I drove my van here. Um, are you sure you want to have driven your van here? No. I guess <laughs> I'm just going for the door uh, with the intentions of running. Uh, <laughs> not running. He, he hopes he drove his van there. He hopes it's not there, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's both. It's it's uh, no. Schrod Schrodinger's van. <laughs> I'm not even gonna run. No, Macbeth isn't upset. Yeah, he uh, he's probably. Am, am I able to get out of bed, or do I need to stealth roll or something? Um, yeah, roll me stealth real quick. All right, I, I have stealth. Let me just see. Um, how many dice I'm rolling with? Uh, ugh, that's only a plus. Never mind. I'll say I don't get my I don't get my plus one bonus from being driven, do I? But I think that only applies to willpower. You also are losing some amount of dice for being fi having five stun. Five, right? Yep. That will take one of those out. Uh, this might be the best use of a stun roll ever. Uh, I have to explicitly say the stun roll is not, not from sorry, whatever please, actions please, he did last night. It's from whatever please. drugs and alcohol he did last night. Right. Uh, do I want to pre-edge the stealth roll to get out of the bed filled with naked ladies? Um, will they eat me? Do I like? I check my I check my neck and shit. Like, have I been bitten? Um, several hickeys, no bites. <laughs> like, no, all right, yeah. As long as there's the skin, all right. Uh, then I'm not I'm not gonna pre-edge. I'm just gonna I'm gonna live with two successes as I tiptoe. Off. If, I mean, they're also pretty out of it they totally don't notice if they did notice i'll tell you now they would have you would have lost another three hours for some reason or another <laughs> um but sure. they totally don't notice you sneak out where am i uh when i get out in Tacoma. <laughs> okay you're, you know you're within a, a couple blocks of the bar because that's obviously where these women would go all right to their bar um you can totally grid guide your card over to you and you know Find the group if you want. Yeah, once I once I have my my cyber deck back, uh, I, I assume I haven't lost any belongings. Nope, nope, I haven't lost any belongings. All right, so well, that could have been much worse. Uh, as I'm like rubbing my neck and like still checking myself for like wounds and like trying to feel around for my anatomy to make sure that's all connected. Uh, make a perception check. Oh god, I don't have an arm. Do I have my arm? Is my cyber arm still attached? Make a perception check. <laughs> for it. Um, you totally notice that your left, uh, is there a kosher way to say it? No. Your left nipple is pierced. Oh, shit. <laughs> All right. I don't think that was there before. <laughs> By the way, I, I would have enjoyed it much more if you didn't notice this. <laughs> so you're going to, so, so for this run, you've gotten a blonde beard, <laughs> you've gotten a pierced nipple, and much, you have pickies. Like, aren't prime oh. runs supposed to be the ones that change you forever? <laughs> Ah, uh, dude, it's the low-level runs. 
<laughs> None of these are this is a of style, and this is not mechanically going to fix. No, I love change. it. I love it. I'm just, it's just fun. I will. No, have, I know. I'm just, <laughs> the fun. reason he has this trait is because he was complaining that no one used his dependence negative quality. So good I, had, on I had a dependent girlfriend for 30 runs that nobody ever interacted with, so I asked Nikoya to give me a better one, and then bit my tongue about that later. Um, so yeah, I'm like playing with my my newfound nipple ring. <laughs> Um, it's gonna I'm, hurt. I'm, yeah, I know it probably hurts, but I totally, I totally saw this. I was actually on a run. Well, I wasn't. I was watching a run that not Bob ran before, and I was totally calling on him to like call it, call you on it. And apparently, you never made it to whatever the floor was where it would have occurred because yeah, yeah, yeah. he totally had it planned too. Yeah, I'll, I'll get, I'll get my, I'll start walking back towards the bar and have my van uh, meet me halfway, and then I will. I'll just sit. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna chill for like a minute and just collect myself. But at like <laughs> one, at like one thirty, I'll start answering uh, DNIs and and ask the team for an update. Sure. At one thirty, um, Don, how many uh, DNIs does he have from Don at that point? Oh, just the one. Don doesn't care that much about him. Okay, you have one <laughs> DNI from Don. Like, where the fuck are you? <laughs> Um, yeah, I probably don't respond directly to Don. Oh, no, I'll, 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 I'll send her a DNI saying I went deep undercover. Um, <laughs> and then, yeah, I'll, I'll reconnect with the group and, uh, um, I'll be really quiet. <laughs> and you have three hours to try to get some of that stun to go away. Yeah. That, that, I mean, that, that'll be, that's, that's mostly the focus of just, just chilling a little bit of self reflect and, Figure out how I got to this, this position. Meanwhile, uh, Tropic, your metal ink is going to be buzzing. All right. Phone is buzzing. <laughs> All right, Jammer, it's Kazooie. You still good? Yeah, I'm pretty good. How uh, how you doing, Kazooie? <laughs> Never felt better. The drinks last night were weak, I guess. Uh, although, I guess not weak enough for the Dwarven palate. Uh, uh, so got that, that buddy? Is, those shorties. Yep, yep, yep. Halfers, no good. You still got that, uh, that buddy of yours? Uh, yeah, I, th I think I got him. Uh, give me, give me like ten minutes. I'll call him. I'll see what's up. See what he's doing, and I'll get back to you. All right. All right. Call me right, right back, Chummer. We got a job. It has to be. We got to be at this place. I'll give you the. He gives you the address, uh, like in a file. Be here at five if you can. All right. Well, we'll make it happen for you. Yeah, because otherwise we have to call those HTR guys, and uh, those guys suck. I, I hear you. Click. All right. Uh, RC is the one with the uh, military background, correct? <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, you're you're our guy. <laughs> okay. So, uh, what do you need me to do? Uh, the the dwarves were. The supply truck drivers, right? No, I, or maybe I don't even know that. So you you can pretty much. Does anyone have common sense? Uh, I don't know. Beth sure doesn't. This is a funny <laughs> language you are speaking. So I, you know, you'll you'll figure out when you get there. Then what? I what could have sworn somebody did. Numbers mean. Stake, you don't have common sense. Why would I have common sense? I don't know. You're the fucking responsible one here. I will point out to the team <laughs> runners, common sense is the single best quality on the hub. <laughs> it is a good one, oh, for sure. Noted. Uh, yeah, so, RC, we, uh, we're going to need you to drive one of the trucks, buddy. Okay. Uh, when? I assume five an hour? Yeah, five o'clock. We uh I got where we're meeting up, everything, so Alright. Sure. Uh do I need codes or anything? Uh they uh I'm gonna call them back and I'm gonna get all that information right now. So one more right. Uh I'm gonna call uh Kazooie, right? Yep, Kazooie. Right. Kazooie the Minotaur. But he was the one that talked to me. Yep, he is also the one that talked to you. Nice guy. 
<laughs> Great guy. I'm gonna shoot him. If only you listen. Gonna shoot him in the face for not making him drive. Your shoot him. Oh, <laughs> shoot him in the face for trying to look out for you, and then you insulted him, you and he will remember this. If you and job. yeah. So you you call him Kazooie. Hey, uh, Kazooie. Uh, I I talked to my guy. Uh, he's he's down for the job. What uh what do we need? What do we need for him to uh to be all set? I mean, this meets at five. We don't have time for the freaking bureaucrat bullshit. I'm gonna vouch for you. You're gonna all show right. up, and we'll do the paperwork work beforehand. Afterwards, if you know what I mean. I I'm picking up what you're putting down, brother. Yeah. No. The 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 freaking spider at this place is a freaking halfer, of course. And, you know, you pick him up and put him into the ceiling once and he does whatever you say for, you know, the rest of forever. It's great. <laughs> I like that. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll meet We'll meet you there at 5 o'clock. We'll be there. Shop. Shop is a knife. I don't know what that means, but we'll be there. I don't know what it means either, but I'll see you later, Chummer, and he's going to hang up. All right, so uh, with this in our plan, I think that actually makes our job a lot easier. It makes it two-fifths easier, actually, <laughs> because there's two less security guards now. Yes. Yeah, so they're expecting both RC and Tropic to show up, right? They're expecting... Tropic and a military-looking guy to show up. Isn't the Tropic supposed to look like somebody he's not? He should be looking like an orc. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, whenever we're... I'll just go ahead and roll that now, and we'll save that for later again. Yeah, we'll... <laughs> we'll cross that road when we get there. Just making sure it's accounted for. <laughs> that would be an awkward conversation. Like, man, you really were yeah. drunk. <laughs> this is what I looked like the whole yeah, time. Yeah, you don't remember? This is me! Do that again. I guess you'd be too proud to bring it up because then you'd have to admit maybe he was a little tipsy. There we go. <laughs> okay. um, then if we we don't have to use it per se if we don't need to, but if there seems an appropriate time, we can call competency. I've cast it again. Eh. Well, I mean, you just cast it. I'm assuming you cast it before the run at the yeah. The yeah, I'm not just with. casting it in my apartment. Uh, whenever we get ready to. <laughs> Appropriate, I will cast. Traffic just explodes okay. into an orc wherever he's walking around. <laughs> well, I have I to be Line of sight. All right. Yeah, so I'm also cool. assuming Tropic looks like an orc when he goes to meet the people. You, you've rolled your rolls. I'm assuming you make it look. I'm assuming you do it at the appropriate time. We're not going to like make you plan yeah. that all out on a low threat run. You, yeah, you do it when you're supposed to. I appreciate that. I also haven't been casting my healthy glow every day, but I'm just counting the two hits I got last time because that's why I can cast it out really easy. Um. I mean, you cast it on the first day and the day before you went into the bar. That's really the only days you did stuff, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, it, it just increases my uh, social limits. It's not that big a deal. So. Gotcha. Okay. So, you go... What are you doing? You Tell me what you're doing, I guess. Okay, so the plan to shoot out one of the tires now officially had to change. So... I believe RC was going to be the one doing that. Mm -hmm. So, we'll be driving the vehicles. And if we still want to take out the guards, we could have uh, Macbeth take control of it, shut it down, something. And still do that, but we have better positioning, I suppose. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you guys, uh, RC is a rookie, right? He's got a fucking pee. Need to make a pit stop. <clears throat> okay. And it all comes back down to me. I feel like that's our, our that's our ace in the hole, right? Is <clears throat> our, we're in control of bodily fluids here. Like, let me tell you about the body. No, I'm not even going to go into the bodily fluids I've dealt with. We are going to capitalize on this through bodily fluids. So right. I guess we're at Plan P. Plan P. <laughs> that is a quote of the game. Somebody write that down. <laughs> We are at plan B. <laughs> no. Yeah, I'll be I'll be available to stop the car though as well. 
Suzuki by not being one of the drivers. Otherwise, just insist you need to pee. Alright. Um, does anyone have any any more input on how we should go about handling everything? Oh, did anybody have an area jammer? Because that would actually be way better because I, I can't use my cyber deck if I'm using it as a jammer. I thought you could use a drone as a area jammer if that's the only thing it's doing. But that's the only thing I could contribute. Well, I, where is that in the... I, I, I'm not saying you can't do that. I'm saying I've never heard of that. Under uh, noise, you can use an electronic device to generate noise. Um, but you can't use it to do any other action with it. It's okay, under core, put, yeah, but I don't remember what page. In that. Um, I'm going to figure that out, and then we can uh, plan from there. But what else are yeah. we going to do? Uh, I got nothing. I'm going to see if I can uh, summon a spirit just as a little bit of insurance. Sorry, did you want to go in hot? Because I can just improve your flex, you guys, and then take a nap. Or I mean, not take a nap. I can't go to sleep, but I can just, you know, find a lovely hotel room and relax in a bath unless you need me there. <laughs> mm. That's an image. Uh, I think we want you and Steak to make people pee. Oh, yes. Oh. Um, Forgot. That is that is doable. <laughs> Absolutely, I could do that. Ah, oh, it's so weird how excited they are. We're the P. The P makers, yeah. Well, I could pick up a white noise generator on the way, but I'd have to roll for a directional jammer. Yeah, yeah white. So you might want to roll for electrical jammer because I don't think. Yeah, white noise uh, doesn't do that. I don't yeah. think that drones can make noise. Um, uh, would that be me or the contact? Um, you can totally contact the contact. Still, it's still. I, I know I said Macbeth was at noon, but this is that was just to get Macbeth out of the way. It's still you still have the whole day until five p.m. for the rest of you to do what you're doing. All right. Uh, let me check to see if I have somebody who would be better at this. Oh damn it! Did I get any of their contact informations? Who? The the people I woke up with. Um, <laughs> your com link, your your meta link specifically, because even in uh, drug induced stupor, you're I'm assuming competence. Sure. Uh, to that degree, it has five weird com codes, but instead of names, it just has like blonde with freckles. No, it has vegetable or fruit descriptions for what? some reason, and then <laughs> a, a color that kind of looks like a hair color. So like watermelon, red. <laughs> And blonde. That's uh, not my system. <laughs> well, it's your system when you're on drugs. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Yeah, awesome. I mean, not awesome. You know, that's whatever. I mean, you can make a memory check to kind of like correlate which ones are which. I guess. <laughs> that's alright. You know, the the important thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's fun. I just yeah. It's hard to become a master of anything, right? It takes a lot of effort. 10,000 hours. Ten, wow, Jesus. That's a lot of hours. Gonna be walking sore. Yeah, so that's not gonna happen. Um, does anyone have Top Shop? Uh, not me. I'm, I feel like I have a jammer, but I think I always think I do, and then I never do. <laughs> well... Maybe it's one of those things you need to buy. Yeah. Well, I actually own droids. I just never wear it. <laughs> Control F jammer on Macbeth's sheet does not have any. Yeah, it's hits. totally, it's totally not there. I've got the jo the noise generator and the bug scanner, but I don't have a jammer. Um, what are we what are we really worried about here? We're worried about them saying, "Hey, we're under attack," right? And and even then, that doesn't matter. 
Right. Yeah, we do this fast enough, darling. H to everyone last year, here. I'm pretty sure. I have a friend in Aries. I can call to make sure on how security works if you really uh, like. Uh, but let's uh, let's, let's leave the Aries guy out of this. Let's we make... just gotta do it in like, and then we'll be done. Yeah. So hot and loud. Hot and loud. Uh, yeah, loud. Yes. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> yeah, I'll I'll jam, I'll jam once we're once we're in the vehicles. That way, that'll that'll stop the tags. Once we've loaded it into one, I'll I'll jam I'll jam out for us. You'll jam out like buzzard. Yeah. <laughs> oh man, buzzard. Oh yeah. So I think that's a plan. Mm-hmm. Well, okay. you're jamming out like flea. Right. Uh, why don't you tell me how you're setting up and tell me how this uh, you know, heist is gonna go. Perfectly is how it went. You can give us our reward now. Thank you <laughs> no, for I that. mean the setup for it. <laughs> <Sure>. <laughs> no take backs. We don't retcon on this table. <laughs> yeah, you don't retcon. But let's see what else I didn't retcon in your. Uh, you know what kind of disease you got? <laughs> yeah, I, was say, I, I, I will be seeing a mage after this run. Thank you very much. Uh, mage is gonna say, "Wow, I didn't know that." Uh, yeah, no, let's just not even go there. Uh, that, but... This is a world record! High five! Dude, high score. Alright. You, uh, you do get the feeling, though, Macbeth, before I get too far away from it, that uh, you definitely underperformed. Uh, what the fuck? I didn't to, get to, oh, to, oh, loss of confidence incoming. I'd spend edge on that. You can't tell me that <laughs> shit. I mean, they can buy, apparently they can just buy hits more than you can spend at, is what I'm telling you. Oh my god. <laughs> Bullshit. That should have been a private message. How dare you tell the whole table that? <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. I was having fun up until that moment. Yeah, I think you're still having fun, but let's go on to the... the uh... Somebody else can describe the plan. I'm, I'm muting myself. You're not muting yourself. Come on. Don't be like that. <laughs> Uh, all right, no, yeah, we we have uh, Stake, Macbeth, and Don uh, will be at the first ambush location, um, probably in somebody's vehicle, just chilling. Um, if we can find a, a inconspicuous spot to park, otherwise we'll just. I guess be driving a little ways behind the convoy, and the other two, I believe, are now in the convoy. Correct. Sounds about right. Um, are you actually going to walk up? You so see, you walk up to and you meet Kazooie. I'm assuming. Uh, yeah. Okay. He's going to explain that you know, of course, the the uh, the troll the trog crew is going to be, of course, in the lead vehicle because there's all the three of them always drive together. Uh, you can take the two-person uh, rear vehicle, I think I called it. Whatever. Basically. The tail? Yeah, rear, rear support. Okay. Yes. Cool. All right. yeah. Will they not have a, a third person with them? I'm sorry. There's, there's. So you're gonna meet. There's gonna be two drivers driving the truck. They look pretty tired. Uh, there's gonna be a. Cha there's mm. gonna be the lead vehicle, which is gonna be Kazooie, being driven by the female orc, and the other male orc is sitting shotgun. He's in the back, you know, holding. He actually comes in late, uh, holding a stick, and he said he starts complaining about how you know none of them have to give up their guns at the bar. But, you know, you bash one guy's skull in, and I, now I have to, like, hand over my beaten stick every time I go to the bar. And he's going to, you know, shoulder that beaten stick and sit in the back of the lead vehicle. Okay. So it's up to those two how they will get that, that vehicle to stop then. So in our in our back vehicle or in the back vehicle, it's me, RC, and then a driver, or is it just me and RC? You and RC is the driver, unless okay. you want to drive. No, I think he's a much better driver than I am. 
I will quietly take that compliment. <laughs> uh, is the uh, chase car adapted or is it straight? Um, I'm sorry, can you say that a different way? Uh, is the chase car rigger adapted or is it just a regular off-the-shelf car? No, it's not rigger adapted. It's uh, It's got grid guide and it's got meat space controlling, basically. Okay. Um, you do notice that the, the chase car um, looks like it had a bunch of other stuff in it that was quickly ripped out. Okay. So, um, out like of a radio or anything? No, out of character. Just basically, like, so dwarves have to pay 20% to adapt all their stuff. Basically, you know, they had Took a bunch out of... Took all the modifications for... For small people to drive the car, yeah. So, like, the little pedal extension things and stuff like that. You know, phone books to sit on. <laughs> now, you're just, okay. now you're just being mean. That's out of character. <laughs> Um, yeah, so, um, unless you want to do anything else, I'm assuming you're going to start driving. You're the, uh, the rear vehicle. There's going to be the front-line vehicle, then the two trucks, then you, and you're going to start driving pretty much in a line. Uh, during roads, when there is two lanes that they can be driving in, uh, the chase vehicle is going to drive on line as if it was a motorcycle, and the two vehicles are going to go and drive side by side and you can you know choose to actually be in a lane and not be a dick <laughs> or uh you know straddle the line as well uh, i'll play it by ear depending on the situation okay um eventually i think the first checkpoint is not that far away it's during the change up on the map if i remember correctly uh when they get off of five and get on those like short roads to start getting into the poly up barons. All right, I'm going to DNI the group. Uh, do you still want me to take out tire of truck or uh, something else since I'm driving the tail? Um, uh, as you will, though. I think you can just feign a breakdown, yeah? Yeah, we, like we could either feign a breakdown or actually shoot out a tire, right? So, I mean, we might as well just feign a breakdown. All right, I'll get on the uh, the radio and call the lead vehicle. Say, hey, um, I need to make a pit stop. I had a little too much to drink last night. <laughs> you'll you'll hear quickly on the radio in the background a couple of orc like voices, like, "Damn it, why'd our new buddy have to bring a human on us?" Or uh, what do they call them, humans and orc breeder? Breeder. Yeah, Breeders, yeah. Yeah, they're going to talk about breeders and complain a little bit under their breath. But uh, Kazooie's actually going to have the radio, and he's going to say, yeah, yeah, sure, we'll stop. Uh, there's, a, there's a stop real quick right up over there. He's going to basically direct you to the choke point, which is an <laughs> off-road off of this single-lane road, basically like a dead-end road that used to have stuff, but at this point does not. It's all, all right. abandoned shit. I'm going to park a little weird on the... Um to allow for vehicle access, but still kind of block off the trucks backing out. Uh, get out and dash for somewhere to um, fake peeing. Okay, uh, make a performance check. Nice. <laughs> this will be fun. <laughs> so you get like a plus two because he's peed a few times in his life? Um, you can get a plus two if you describe how you're God. doing this. How about a plus two if he doesn't describe how he's doing this? Well, don't describe how you're actually, like, describe how you're going to walk, you know, your, your, your method, not your actual. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> yeah, is, is this, is there a storefront nearby or is it just uh, open and abandoned? So it's, you know, it's in the middle of, it's not in the middle, it's in the built up Tacoma. So there's still buildings. But everything's abandoned, so you can just there's alleyways and such, if that makes sense. But there's not it's not like a pasture. Alright, then I would go near one of the alleyways and um, 
look down and go, oh, look, my shoe, and, and act like I have to tie my shoe while adjusting things and trying to be not in sight, but not at the same time in the alley. All right, sufficient. You get plus two to your roll. Oh, good. That means... <laughs> means you're all a whole two dice. <laughs> no, three. <laughs> oh, boy. That's, that's good. I think I'm going to edge that. Hey, that would have been a good one to pre-edge. <laughs> then he would have lost it if he pre-edged. I, I will point out um, that since, as a man with five hedge, if you want to pre-edge postly... <laughs> uh, <I'm not. laughs> Never mind. <laughs> oh man. Well, you just got performance. Can, can, can I you see had him? Had post, you could do five dice exploding just on that. But that, you've already committed at this point. So yeah, my dice are finally acting up. What are they going to do? Like, hey, you're lying about peeing. <laughs> you just got performance anxiety. They're all watching. I mean, <laughs> the, the, they're peeing over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, who's gonna call somebody out like that? <laughs> Unless he's just like doing it bad, like his hands are like waving in the air. Hey, well, uh, can, can I see him doing this? <laughs> you can. Gotta, to- who's that? Who's that? Uh, the steak. Yeah. No, steak. Gotta- <laughs> okay. Let, let's think. Do what he's doing. Steak. Wh- where are you right now? <laughs> I, I suppose I would be with uh, the group of people that are not currently riding in the convoy. So I'm assuming you're in an abandoned building waiting to ambush these people. So yeah, you can you, you, you can see him in the alley next to your building totally, like, failing. Right, I'm going to trid phantasm a, a stream. <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Just Please to do. give him a little bit of a bonus there. Oh, the, the other guys will, uh, will have to roll a uh, logic plus intuition to tell if it's not true. Funnily enough, these types of guys, their logic and what was the other thing? Intuition, logic, and intuition. Oh, they do have that one because edge. Uh, I mean, because reflexes. But yeah, logic not so high. <laughs> Cast it hard. Mm-hmm. There we go. You needed your force. It is a force five, by the way. Mm-hmm. So what the hell happens? So I think you have to like roll for soak while I jam roll this. Uh, Four times. So what do they have to do? They have to hit five as the threshold to be able to yes. tell he's not peeing? Yes. <laughs> Ooh, and I even match the drain. Otherwise, there's a perfect stream coming. Right Where's out. the stream coming out of? Do you think, like, the center of his chest? Oh, or? If he can see it, then that's where it's If coming. I can see it, it's right where it should be. <laughs> <laughs> Good answer. Uh, so it's a physical spell, so it literally looks like something is there. Yeah, and this is a... Um, this is a... I have to hit five? You have to hit you have five, to five. To, see, to see if it's not happening, yeah. You have to hit, essentially you hit five to see through the illusion and know that, hey, that doesn't look right. My intuition says that's weird. <laughs> uh, Alright, so they don't see anything. Has it even pulled his edge down yet? And that oh, is I one group edge I have. Nice. I was going to say, actually, I think I gave you the wrong thing. It's it's intuition and willpower, I think. Let me double check. That logic and willpower wouldn't have changed much. Okay, okay, yeah. So, oh, no, sorry, it is logic and intuition, oddly enough. Never mind. Yeah, sure, guys, sorry. Okay. That's also what they would have to be able to see through me or Topic's uh, disguise if they ever get there. Yeah, now, logic. would I need to make this check as well? Um, yes. I mean, <laughs> yeah. You're freaking out. I mean, I, you can make the check. I'm going to assume you understand that because you can feel it, that you're not actually peeing. So you'd just be, like, confused as to why there's urine coming out of you. Especially yeah. considering I didn't unzip, but sure. Yeah, especially <laughs> considering that. I mean, you, you feel it. You know you didn't unzip. You don't quite understand it. But you accept it because you fail. Let's, so let's roll that, uh, that uh, perception. All right, perception. Or what? The the thing she said, the intuition and willpower. Intuition. Essentially, logic physical intuition. illusions. You can see them. You know they're happening. It's you're then trying to test your logic and intuition to see if they look real. Like that doesn't look quite right. <laughs> I was just right in there. I should have just said logic and intuition. I'm dumb. Okay, yeah, that. And you, uh, you totally, you, you're confused as hell as to how you're peeing when you don't feel like you're peeing. And your zipper is zipped, but you're totally peeing. 
<laughs> and you receive that DNI that was sent. Uh, Fucking mages. Oh, and because it's Trid Phantasm, any any uh, devices also have to roll to see if it's I don't think there's any like <gasps> devices checking for I'm saying authentic. We're getting it on camera. <laughs> yeah, there's no. You're fine. Um. So. Uh, we should probably what, do what something. Happens next? Yeah, we're just watching him pee. Like, wow, he's really doing it. And then they get to be <laughs> drive away. We're like, fuck. <laughs> um. Uh, what the hell is happening next? Uh, somebody shoot somebody, right? I think that's part two. Did any? Oh, did any of them get out of their their cars to stretch or pee or? Oh, or? everyone is out of their vehicles except for the um, professional drivers that are driving the actual things. They're still in their vehicles. Dawn <laughs> is staying in our getaway vehicle. She would not be. I'm wearing pumps. I'm not running. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So so yeah, Macbeth. Uh, I'm going to. I talk myself third person. I'm going to get. Uh, I want to get marks on the two delivery vehicles while the two mages prepare to make everybody pee. <laughs> now that they can see everybody except for the delivery drivers and oh yeah we, I guess I'll drive a car for that so if I can and see then somebody. we can all hold hands and pee if <laughs> and Macbeth will ask why is mine burning out of character I, I'm not that mean you're not going to have like diseases and such <laughs> from this <laughs> You noticed like, a couple, um, whatever the Sixth World equivalent of protection is on the floor. Oh, great. Lots of them um, on your way out. Yeah, that was reassuring. Upstanding young ladies. Um, so are, are any of these vehicles running silently? Or am I within 100 meters and can, can see the vehicle? Uh, I mean, they're connected to the grid guide. They're not running silent. So, yeah. All right. Um, let me just reload my array. And I'm going to fork a uh, hack on the fly. I think that's what we needed to do, right? This is how we were going to get these people to stop. That's not right to anybody. Because the drivers aren't getting out of the vehicles. The drivers are not out of their vehicles. They are still in their trucks. Any noise here that I need to deal with? Um, no, you're still in Tacoma, so you're fine, and you're close enough. From the, you're all in the building together, right? The abandoned building I said you were in? Yeah. yeah. You're close enough, and they're not... Yeah, you're fine. Okay. There's my shitty agent's assist, and then here comes a uh, hack on the fly, and they'll both get independent uh, defense rolls with fork. Yep, and that's just device rating times two, I believe. For you, yes. Yep. Oh, I will say, someone make a perception check while they're doing this stuff. Oh, make a perception check. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I keep all eleven. That's right. I count on my hands. Fuck you guys. <laughs> what the hell? It, what's the device rating for a vehicle? It's just it's. it's it'll it'll most likely be whatever it's slave to. Uh, yeah, or it's just I think a three normally. A lot of vehicles are threes. I'm just gonna yeah. assume that for now. Yeah. Um, sure. So I believe the first one. Oh wait, no, that's not yours. I got eleven hits. You got eleven hits. I keep them all. Um, yeah, they 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 they're screwed. Um, your perception checks. Uh, traffic. I'm assuming that's also awesome. yeah perception. Uh, so you definitely see that uh, the two spiked vehicles are bulldogs. Just tradi not bulldogs. Wait. Um, are they the typical delivery van? Because that's the endurance. The endurance. Yeah, they're endurances. I'm thinking of different things. Yeah, endurances. Um, the chase and rear vehicles are what did I what did we agree to? E Evo juggernauts, which are basically just the Evo version of the Ares Roadmaster. Oh shit, that's heavy duty. Oh well, in that case, I'm thrilled. Yeah, well, I mean, the drivers of said vehicles are not in said vehicles. You yeah. Want right. Yeah. No, that, that I'd be scrambling to get back into the driver's seat of that. 
Um, <laughs> yeah, RC has a totally new plan. He's just taking. <laughs> <one. laughs> yeah. Of non-looting rules. The, the, the whole time, there's a stream of urine coming out of the front. Although of the I guess if you no, really, really have... wanted it, I could just make I you pay have... for it. I do have a quick question. Does this particular juggernaut still have the water cannon attached? Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> it, it's no. not. He says what? <laughs> it's, it's a reskinned Ares Roadmaster. I don't believe Ares Roadmasters come with a water cannon. I thought some of them did. That's why I was asking. <laughs> I, I can totally recheck, but I was not aware of that. Uh, it's just a Ares Roadmaster is just a basically an armored van, right? Yeah, but I thought uh, some of them. I don't remember which one it was. I thought uh, maybe it's the City Master. One of them has a uh, water cannon. I just don't remember right now. I don't have yeah, any books open, so... That. I will definitely double-check, but I don't think it was that. Um, why don't someone else it, do something else while I look it up? It's flavor. It's it's not important. If you want, we can say the... Uh, see, here's the problem. I don't want it to be affecting other games inside my table. We'll, we'll just assume that it doesn't. Okay. I still want to scramble to get back into the driver's seat of that. Yep, you can totally get back into the driver's seat of that. Um, sorry, there's sirens going by. Uh, okay, so I have a, I have a mark on the two delivery vehicles, correct? You certainly do. Okay, then I will DNI to the team and say I am ready for those vehicles to remain where they are. Okay. Um. You know, basically prepping a control device. Uh, so that the vehicles. I thought you were just data spiking them, but yeah, go ahead, do what you want. Uh, no, I want to try to do it peacefully. Um, although it would be fun to blow shit up, uh, but no, I'm just going to control device so that they remain off. Um, but I'm waiting. I'm going to do it basically at the same exact time that the mages uh, make everybody fucking be whatever the hell the plan is. Sure. So why don't we? Are we going to start to? Can we take a tiny little break before we? Uh, yeah. Why don't we? How long have we? Yeah, we pull, we've been going for a while. Why don't we take? Because combat's about to start. Let's take a ten minute break. Cool. Okay. What time did we start? Four hours ago. We started about three hours ago. I think. No, more like four because it's almost ten, and we started at six. Yeah. Had issues, but we started at six. Okay. This particular call has been going for three. Cool. That's good. We're making it's good like time. Third call. Yeah. No, we're making great time. It's going to four hours, but not quite. Like eight hours. Like <laughs> yeah, not one, of, not one of those eight hour runs. <laughs> All right, so 10 minute yeah, break. Get... We'll see you back in 10 minutes. All right. Oh, wow. <laughs>